why do you think, you know, the, even to this day, a lot of black people aren't down with the Republican Party? Is it because they don't see themselves there? Because, you know, now no more black people going behind Trump when he's talking. Right. But the first time he ran, it was all white behind him. I think that... Um and, and I mean, it depends on where Kamala go. I mean, and Tim Waltz, they got a lot of white people behind them, too. A lot of white liberals, you know, that support the black genocide of abortion, knowing that 80 percent of abortion clinics are in black communities. Like I've said it before, we get abortion clinics, they get fertility clinics. And it's something mm -hmm. that we got to wake up to because our community, we see white supremacy and everything except abortion. And it's easy for us to research this history about mm -hmm. Margaret Sanger, about the strategic placement of their clinics, about the Negro Project, about Title X funding. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff is readily at our hands. So what we have to do is I, I think there's going to come a time where the collective we're going to have to come together and we're going to have to say, damn, choosing a side. We need to vibe for the policies that are best for us, well, because right. what we're seeing right now whether you happy with a red side or a blue side, we seeing that illegal immigrants, right, for whatever reason, are getting far more benefits than American citizens. And that's just the honest to God truth. I mean, we watch them give billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine and then the people of North Carolina, and I don't care if they're white or black, they're American, they only get $750 and then they don't even have the internet up there in the mountains to even be able to apply mm -hmm. for the services that they need. I mean, you'll see Kamala Harris with a Hot Wheels abortion bus taking it to the hood in Chicago and going on a abortion tour at HBCU colleges. But I don't you see that You call it an abortion saying, tour. I'm going to call it a freedom of choice. I mean, well, I don't, I don't see that message being taken to Yale or, or Dartmouth. Like, why is it just the HBCUs? And we don't even see abortion clinics at the border. Mm -hmm. So I have a real issue with, you know, American women – and particularly young black women, childbearing age women, like at our colleges, you know, being given this, this, this liberation of choice. But when it comes to the border or people crossing the border, hey, we got you, we got your family, we'll take care of y'all. But black women, we, we too poor to have our children. Mm. We, we suffering. We ain't got enough money. Okay, well, where does money going to come from? The, all of these people that came together and raised over a billion dollars for Kamala? Mm -hmm. For us to sit up mm -hmm. and listen to Kamala Harris well, we and Oprah Winfrey tell us how we poor. To make some, some moves. I mean, she's been in. in for the past four no, years. No, no, it's not the same. There's a video feeling. of her no. saying that she's been very no. active in every decision that Joe Biden has okay. made. Okay. They, okay. They, I mean, that's what a vice president is for. They consult each other. Like, but, but if can, I can go in with Kim Kardashian and get a law change without ever holding a seat in office, don't tell me that Kamala Harris can't do anything. I went by but myself because Kim president didn't have a baby chain to a bed. Okay. It don't matter. She has influence. Kamala Harris could have used her platform to call for a stay when Marcellus Williams was just executed. Kim Kardashian's done it all the time. I've done it. You didn't see one post from Kamala Harris about Marcellus Williams. You haven't seen anything from Kamala look, okay. Harris in regards I'm, to Sonia Massey. I'm, I'm going to do some work. I'm going to do some Let's work when Trump is in office. Did he help anybody... He actually, he actually made, he actually made the murder of George Floyd. He made it a hate crime. Okay, mm -hmm. called for the FBI to investigate it. Okay, that's one thing. He did the same thing with Ahmaud Arbery. Okay, I actually was at the FBI conference and called for the arrest of Derek Chauvin, the only right. nigga at the FBI conference in Minneapolis. So it's like, don't get it twisted because we may be on different sides politically. I, I can no longer be a Democrat because the Democrat Party of today is not the same Democrat Party that it was when my grandmother and my mother was supporting it. Right. These issues that they have now, you know, with full term abortion, that's something I cannot support, especially knowing the factual basis that 20 million black lives have been aborted since Roe v. Wade was passed. And it was passed on the lie because the white lady, Jane Doe, said that she was raped by four black men. She was never raped by four black men, and she never even had an abortion. So we have seen, like, even when I look at my family, I put up a picture the other day of my grandmother and her 10 children, and people were like, wow, we never see family pictures like that anymore. Well, that's because of abortion. 
We no, were at thirteen no, percent. No, no, we no. were at thirteen. The father ain't in the home a lot of time. They they, they get incarcerated. They, or they get or they a day. We are boarding. So we are boarding them. We were at thirteen percent of the population in nineteen seventy three when Roe v Wade was passed. Mm -hmm. It is two thousand and twenty four. We are still at thirteen percent of the population. Every other demographic that has come here has excelled and passed us, and it is because of the strategic placement of abortion clinics like mm -hmm. these black it's not that these black people weren't created right they were created they were just right. aborted right. so we are aborting our future we're constantly crying about being an oppressed minority right but we can never be the majority if we're having over 45 percent of all the mm. abortions happening in the u.s and we're only 13 percent of mm. the um population but out of that 13 percent of the population only 7% are childbearing age mm. women, black women. Mm -hmm. So we got all these abortions mm -hmm. taking place and the black maternal health crisis. Like we're in trouble. And um, you can't say like that situation with Amanda Thurman that happened here in Georgia. The young lady who took the abortion pill to abort twins mm -hmm. and then it left some of the residue of the baby inside of her. She developed sepsis and she passed away, mm -hmm. right? They're actually using that as an excuse to say or to call for more abortions. Like, abortion well, is not safe. Right. Well, yeah, I know, but not, not doing it at home with a pill ain't either. You know, they ain't well, they was doing it at home with a hanger. That's why they passed right. it. Right. I get it's how never you feel safe. I get how you feel about abortion. But let's talk about, you just mentioned Ruth. You if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. Boom. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?